there's always cutting edge products, there's always new things getting released, and sometimes the district just doesn't have uh, the resources to keep up with all of these new innovations that are coming out. So the idea that we could have this grant that would allow us to outfit our elementary school with some of the most advanced cutting edge products and be able to offer those opportunities to our students to go above and beyond what they normally would be exposed to was something that was really exciting. This program touches a lot on the um, parts of just building and coding and I think it's just nice that they are allowed to see the STEAM you know, come to life and all the possibilities it has. So this is a very strategic way to get our students involved um, and think creatively and um, you know, build a, a brighter future uh, per se. We got a ton of interest. So many students and parents filled out the Google form that was initially sent out. And we had so many students who were interested in participating that unfortunately we had to have a lottery to select only, a, a really only I think 16 per class. And there's only three classes. We wanted to encourage girls to participate in the STEAM club because a lot of times women and girls are underrepresented in scientific fields and engineering fields and we wanted to give our girls an opportunity to explore some of these different areas and to have experiences with science and, and engineering. I think girls, um, I gave them an inventory asking them what their strengths were, what they thought their strengths were already existing, um, if it's science, technology, engineering, art, um, or mathematics. And a lot of girls said that art was their um, strength. Um, and a lot of girls also said that math was their strength, but they don't like math. Um, and I think it will lead them to see that Nothing is isolated when they go into their careers. There's a lot of mathematics and art. There's a lot of um, angles. There's a lot of measurements. There's a lot of design components. Um, and then maybe they will switch as they get older um, where math will become more interesting or engineering or building. I know that they're, they are loving seeing a project start and um, seeing its ending you know, ending piece, they're, they're loving that. Um, I really hope that it inspires them to, like I said, continue in a path using some of these STEAM components one day in their career. This is really hands-on technology, and it's something that we definitely need more of. Uh, we need students who are interested in going into these high-tech fields, and they're still getting able to create, they're getting to work with their hands, but they're also able to integrate the technology along the way. Reaching the students at such a young age uh, can really spark their interest, and that's the ultimate goal. I really want them to be successful in life and become lifelong learners, and point to their successes that it started back when they were a student here in Elmwood Park District 401.